100,000 subscriber special. I didn't know if I'd ever make this, but here we go. Okay boys, so today we are back with a brand new video and as you can tell by the title, we are here finally with the 100k special. I think we're like two days off it being three months late, uh, which I do apologize about. It's basically, I've just tried to delay it because I was gonna see if I could do something different, but obviously with restrictions, etc., in the world right now, it's not been really easy. So I've gone for the format of a Q&A. If you guys keep an eye on my community tab, you'll see that I've posted a couple of times asking you guys for some questions for the Q&A. So thanks to all of you that have dropped questions. And also if I don't answer your question in this video, feel free to leave it in the comments and I'll try to reply to that as well. I'm trying to do a fair few in this, make it a decent length video, obviously as it's 100,000 subscribers special. So yeah, that's basically where we're at. And also you might see the camera angle change midway because basically I recorded this part, the intro and a few questions I answered and somehow the fire went missing. So I don't know what's happened there. We've got the rest of it, but not this part. So we're gonna go through a few questions, then the camera angle might change, maybe the lighting as well, but hopefully it turns out all to be good. But before we get into the questions, I want to say once again, as we're on about the 100,000 subscribers special, thank you to all you guys that subscribed. And if you're not already, feel free to, I mean, FIFA 21, we're gonna be smashing through that, uploading as often as possible. So yeah, that's, um. That's what I wanted to say at the start, so let's get ourselves into some of these questions that you guys have dropped. Okay, first question is coming from XS7, and this question is, how did you start pursuing YouTube, and when did you start believing that you could make a career out of it? So, I've done YouTube, I want to say, for like, I usually say four to five years, but I keep saying that, like, even though the years keep going on, probably like five, six, six to seven years. Um, I've actually had, like, two channels, I think, before this as well. This, obviously, now is my main channel and my channel that I upload on uh, at the moment. So, yeah, um, I started YouTube just as fun, and it still is seen for me. And anyways, it's fun. Like, I don't see it as a career, really. I mean, obviously, it technically is, but still, for me, I see it as a hobby and something that I really, really enjoy. Uh, but when did I think I could make a career out of it? I don't really know, I suppose when um, started making an income off it. But like I said, I still don't really see it as a job. Uh, it's weird because it still doesn't like settle in my mind or I still don't like process it as a job. But um, yeah, that's basically when I started pursuing it. Probably like end of 2018, start of 2019 is when it kind of started actually like earning me something uh, where I could actually fully focus full time. So that's probably what I'd say for that. Next question up, we've got the man Drew Cowie and he said, if you could do anything other than YouTube, what would you want to do? Um, if it was unrealistic, probably a footballer. I mean, I think that's a lot of like kids' dreams, especially like if you watch football and you uh, like love football growing up, that'd be incredible. But um, I don't really know what else I'd do. I don't know where I'd be if it wasn't YouTube. Maybe I would have gone uni because I didn't go to university. Could have been something like that. I'm not too sure. So next up, we've got a question from Nathan Kinnear, and it says, "What's your most memorable moment of your YouTube career?" I probably there's a few things actually. There's a few things I'd say. Obviously, hitting 100,000 subscribers has to be up there. That is an incredible memory and something that I'll never forget. And also another moment that I will talk about is actually when we hit back-to-back -back icons because the summer before that I was close to like stopping YouTube um, and I just didn't know whether I'd continue and then that happened. We managed to get so lucky with the back-to-back -back icons and then the video did really good as well and that's where it just went up and up and up from there and probably if that didn't happen you might not have been seeing me here today. We probably wouldn't have the plaques. Oh my god and now the battery's gone. You couldn't. You couldn't write it. You really couldn't. But anyways what I was trying to say is also the mates that I have had through YouTube and like became really really good friends with. That is definitely a memorable part as well. But Okay, let's get to the next question before something happens to the camera again. So, from Ali Habbas Haji Haji, he says, Favourite Man U player ever that you've seen play live? Well, I've seen an ex-Man United player who's probably my favourite player of all time in Ronaldo play for Juventus live at Old Trafford in the Champions League. So, maybe you class that as that, but if not, it's probably going to be Rooney. Obviously, an absolute icon at United, especially in my time of being alive, like my generation. Um, Rooney's been sick, Ronaldo, like I said, as well. But I suppose I could kind of go for Ronaldo because he did play for United, however, was playing for Juventus at the time, and it obviously still is. So I'd probably go with Ronaldo, but if that doesn't class, 
I'd go with Rooney. So, this question comes from Boosters, and he says, what is your real name? Some of you guys probably don't even know my first name, etc. My name is actually Tom. Probably you guys on Twitch would know that, but yeah, my name is Tom. So, for any of you guys that didn't know, there you go. Next question, we have a FIFA one. Again, we have EVD underscore beta saying, what's the best pack that you've ever gotten on FIFA? I'd probably go with my Team of the Year Pogba. I love that. That was literally my first ever Team of the Year I packed. Team of the Year Pogba back when it was at Juventus. And then I think like, the day after, I got Team of the Year Neuer as well, but... Team of the Year Pogba I'll have to go with, um, at least tradable wise, untradable is going to be my Eusebio from this year, um, which was part of my commemorative Eusebio, so yeah, that's probably my best pack pulls I've had, untradable and tradable. So next question is another FIFA one, we've got Ego Melon and he says, what is your favourite promo FIFA have ever released? I've got to say, Summer Heat was incredible. Obviously, we've only had that once, but Summer Heat this year was very, very good promo. Sadly, it was obviously right, right near the end of FIFA, but if that was a bit earlier on, that would have been incredible. But I'm probably going to go with something that we've had at least twice, and that is Future Stars, one of my favourite promos. Obviously, some youngsters that have high potential getting these incredible cards they probably wouldn't get any other time, and I've always liked it. Always liked Future Stars promo. That is an incredible one. And now I think we're caught up to the other video, at least from what I remember. So, camera angle is probably about to change in three, two, one. All right, so the next question is once again YouTube based, and this is from the man Ross Roberts, similar to something that I was talking about earlier, but I'll go into a bit more detail. So, his question was Have you ever had a moment where you were close to giving up your YouTube dream, a point where you nearly gave up the channel, and how did you turn it around if so? So, like I said earlier, um, around about 2018, like mid 2018, uh, I think I actually uploaded a video saying, um, where do I go from here or something like that, I can't remember the title, it was basically like I don't know what I'm going to upload and kind of just kind of losing track and what I, like the vision I had for YouTube, like I didn't know what to really upload. This is before I was like really consistent, I think it was like I may have just finished school or something like that as well and um, I just didn't really know because I wasn't fully like full time focused like tunnel vision on YouTube because I just finished my uh, sixth form basically. And yeah, I just was at a point where I was like, I don't know whether I continue it, just go for a job. And I did actually apply for a couple of job interviews and I literally had one in, I think it was for like a Tesco or something like that. And I did have a job interview that I was gonna go to. And then like I said earlier, the back to back icons video happened and I was like, that's it. I'm throwing everything, tunnel vision onto YouTube. And that is kind of the point where I was nearly so close to kind of like stopping, like I wasn't uploading much then as well. Like I don't know how often I was uploading. You might be able to see. I'm pretty sure like the videos are still on there. But that was definitely a moment where I nearly, nearly gave up the dream that I've been working on for a long time up to then as well. And but like I said, a bit of luck and a switch to the flick, and we went up and up and up instead of just kind of, you know, even down probably. And yeah, that was that was definitely the turning point, and and I can't be any more grateful than that. So, so yeah, that was actually a moment that uh, basically probably would mean I wouldn't even be here now. So thank God it happened. All right, so on to another FIFA question. This is from Cormac Slattery, I think that is. And he says, what is your favorite FIFA of all time? Uh, my favorite FIFA is probably gonna be FIFA 14. The first one on next gen, and we obviously, yeah, like, so Xbox One, the first one on Xbox One. I think the Xbox One came out just after the release of FIFA, kind of similar to what's gonna happen this year. And yeah, FIFA 14 was really, really good. Obviously, that was the World Cup mode. I think that was the first time we got like a proper good World Cup mode in terms of like ultimate team wise. So that was sick. And yeah, it was a really, really fun FIFA. Uh, probably the last time it's really been like really fun. Obviously, the induction of like foot champions that kind of made it a bit more competitive. But FIFA 14 has got to be my favorite FIFA of all time. The next question we're going to go with is from Zach uh, Reap, I think that is. And he says, Which position do you play in real life and what number do you like to wear? So I don't actually play 11 aside anymore, I used to, and I used to play kind of left back, left centre back, not the tallest of centre backs, but in like a back three, in like under 18s, that was kind of like the last time, well I did actually play like a year of men's, and then we came back, had no pre-season fitness like I didn't, and I just like literally the first game I was dead, so I haven't played 11 aside in a while, but... Six aside, I play a lot. Um, we kind of rotate positions. And in terms of like selecting a number, I'm not really fussed. I do like the number 23 for Luke Shaw. Big fan of Luke Shaw. Number 18, I think I used to rock in under 18. So yeah, I mean, numbers never really bothered me. I do like the number seven, but I never played in that position. So I didn't really, like I, I literally wasn't fussed basically about the number. Okay, so the next question is football related again. And it's from FIFA Nathan. And he says, have you ever met a pro footballer? So, if you guys didn't know, I'm actually part of a esports team, not as a player, but as a content creator, 
called Eleven's Esports. Go ahead and check them out, absolute top guys over there. But yeah, basically that esports is actually owned by Gareth Bale. And luckily enough, uh, me and the esports players got flown out to Madrid where we actually got to do a shoot with Bale. So I managed to meet Bale there. He was a very, very nice guy. I'll throw some photos or videos on the screen now so you guys should be able to see. But yeah, it was really, really good. Really, really nice guy. And I think he's actually the only pro footballer I've ever met, I want to say. So yeah, Gareth Bale. So the next question is just gaming kind of based and it's from GV Does Stuff. And he says, do you play any other games other than FIFA? Uh, I actually do in my spare time. At the moment, I'm playing a lot of NBA 2K21, which has recently dropped. I'm playing, like I said earlier, a lot of Call of Duty. Uh, I'm trying to think what other games I play. I don't play too many of us at the moment. There's a game called Among Us, which is really good. I played a bit of Fall Guys, but I haven't played that in a while. Obviously, Warzone is related to uh, COD, so I do play that. Used to play a bit of Fortnite, but I don't think I played that this year. So yeah, I'd probably say my main other games, other than FIFA at the moment, are NBA and Warzone slash Call of Duty. They're kind of like my games that I'm playing at the moment. Next one up is actually just a kind of life question. And this is from Benjamin Dalga, and he says, what is your favourite food? I'd probably say a double plain cheeseburger with a large chicken nugget meal and a Coke from McDonald's. Do love that. Uh, if not, steak, medium rare as well, if you're wondering. Do like a steak. I like a bit. I don't know what my favourite is, though. Probably one of them two. Like, I've had the choice. I do like a Mackey's because it's quick and easy. Or something like going out for a steak. They are great meals, and they're probably my favourite kind of meals. So, we've got a YouTube-related one here. Well, kind of like my YouTube base. And this is from Jay Dodgson. And he says, what is your favourite type of video to make? I'd probably go with, uh, I don't know. I do like doing the pack videos. Obviously, we get to open up my pack. And then we get to do your guys' packs and hopefully get you something decent. I enjoy the challenge videos as well. I know I haven't done many of them as of late. I'm probably going to do a lot more in FIFA 21. If you guys enjoy them, make sure you let me know in the comments. Uh, it's a hard one, though. But like I said, pack videos are fairly simple and it's fun. Uh, so I'd probably say them, but if not, challenge videos because I really do like going through different challenges and obviously challenging ourselves on FIFA. So this is a football-related question, and this is from Harry B. And he says, "What player do you really want your team to sign for the next season?" Well, <laughs> uh, some of you may know a player that I really do like. And you've probably seen him in the background, Mr. Jaden Sancho. Shout out to Foot Card Mania, by the way, for hooking me up with this card. Sancho is someone that still hasn't signed yet. And we have got, you know, a few weeks left in the transfer window. But Sancho to United is just one player that I really would like. I'm a really big fan of Sancho. Probably one of my favourite players currently, alongside Ronaldo. They're my top two. So, yeah, Sancho. I've even got a Sancho United shirt already that you may have seen. So, yeah, Sancho's the one that I'd love to sign. So, we've got another YouTube base from this. is from Ahmed Ali. And he says, your favourite challenge you have ever done. Obviously, like I said earlier, we obviously did a lot of challenge videos. And I want to do a lot more for FIFA 21. Any challenge videos you guys would like to see, let me know below. I'd probably say my favourite challenge I've done is probably going to be the match attacks one. Letting 11 match attacks packs choose our foot champions team that we did in the start of FIFA 20. When I was younger, I used to collect match attacks all the time. So it was sick and really fun to go back and like just open the packs and see what they're like nowadays. So yeah, I'd probably say that is my favourite one because it, you know, created nostalgia for me of when I was younger. And that was kind of like the version of FIFA Ultimate Team that I probably, us kids back in the day did. I don't know if some of you guys may still, if you're younger, you may still do some match attacks or maybe if you're still my age, you might do match attacks. Uh, but yeah, it definitely brought some memories back of when I used to collect match attacks. So I'd say definitely letting 11 match attacks be my favorite challenge I have done as of yet. So the last question we're gonna end it on is from Liam O'Connor. It's a YouTube based question. And he says, did you start YouTube for fun or to get money. So like I said earlier, it still is seen as a hobby for me. Like honestly, I still see it as a hobby. It's ridiculous. Like it's so lucky to be in this position to be able to do it as a hobby and actually earn something from it. But no, never did I ever start YouTube for monetary like value. Like it was literally something I could do, come home and just kind of like work on. Like it was really, really fun. And it still is fun. It still really is fun. And yeah, I feel, I feel like if you ever start YouTube with the mentality where oh, I'm just doing it for the money, like I want to make money, let's make money. I just don't think you're going to have enough passion or not really be motivated enough to make and kind of dedicate yourself to YouTube. So, yeah, um, never did I ever see it as like just like a money income kind of thing. It was always a hobby and something that I enjoyed and, pa and passionate about and still am passionate about. So, yeah, that answers that question. 
So yes boys, there we go, then that is going to wrap up the 100,000 subscriber special Q&A video. And like I said earlier, I really appreciate all you guys that sent in questions, you guys are absolute legends. Hopefully the camera and the mic are all good, I'm using literally the camera mic because I don't have a mic connected to my camera. So hopefully that was all good, the audio etc and the video. Once again, a big thanks to all you guys that made this possible, honestly, um, yeah, it's ridiculous like still. To think that we've actually hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, always been a dream of mine, and we've actually hit it. So yeah, I want to end off thanking you guys again. Hopefully you guys are ready for the FIFA 21 grind. It is nearly here, and I cannot wait myself. Let me know in the comments if you guys are excited, and the most thing you're excited about as well. And also, if you've got any more questions, feel free to drop them below, and I'll try and answer as many of them as possible but yeah guys anyways thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe if you did enjoy the video and i hope to see you guys next time goodbye